Hi, welcome back, it's Sarah Taylor. This is a wonderful video. It's uh, called the Inspiration Series. And three artists got together. I'll introduce you to myself, <laughs> Sarah Taylor Modern Art. Uh, that's me and my family. I'm up in Sandpoint, Idaho. And my technique for this little series collaboration is the pearl pour. Um, so those are a few examples of the paintings that I like to do. And the wonderful Nikki D. If you haven't seen her, she's incredible. She's in Southeast Queensland, Australia. And she does a very interesting, beautiful take on Sheely art on the bloom. Uh, she does a swipe and she likes to spin her art, which is a lot of fun, I've discovered. <laughs> So, and then the wonderful and talented Tina Sacco with TSR Creations. She's in Margate, New Jersey, and she also uses negative space. She uses a swipe technique with an Amsterdam and Floetrol mix formula, which is wonderful. Um, she, and she does all sorts of different art. Uh, and I will definitely talk a bit more about these artists as we go through. So this is my painting inspired by Nikki D. And what I did is I took some color inspiration from her. Um, that's a, a really pretty copper color. Um, that's a burnt umber with Mars black and quinacridone violet by Golden Fluids. And then that's a really pretty green gold by Golden Fluid acrylic. And then that is iridescent gold, also Golden Fluid. The first one I showed you was Amsterdam uh, green gold or Amsterdam turquoise green and then I'm using a um, a 10 by 20 inch canvas and I did end up using a white base coat for this particular painting so I put down a pillow uh, and you know I've been working on this sort of stretched lacing type concept basically what I did here was I took my recipes uh, and I did more of a traditional you know, bloom style Sheely art type recipe. Um, the pouring medium was just a untinted base three house paint and a varathane triple thick polyurethane. And I did put a little bit of varnish, polyacrylic varnish into the paint. Um, and then the pillow is a uh, just a really nice white, water-based semi-gloss house paint. And what I love about Nikki is her use of negative space is always really interesting. Her composition and the balance that she finds. I really, I, I first saw Nikki on Instagram and I followed her immediately when I saw what she was doing. So definitely an inspiration. And it's really fun when you get into a community of artists and somebody inspires you and then you realize that you also inspire them. And what a amazing feeling that is that, you know, we're watching each other and we're teaching each other. And uh, there is, you know, this sort of camaraderie and community that starts to happen and it's really, really wonderful. So I just want to thank you, Nikki, for your beautiful artwork and what you're bringing to the world is just fantastic. We all appreciate you. If you have not seen her artwork, you need to go over and check it out. Uh, she will be, her link to her video will be below in my description. And I'm gonna let you watch the rest of this one. I'm just swiping over with a cell activator. And this is titanium black, or it's actually, I'm sorry, black oxide by Amsterdam, mixed about one to three with Floetrol. And, you know, I don't, I, I just can't spring for Australian Floetrol for 50 bucks for a jar, for a little jug. And there is a trick that I've heard and I tried it here. I put just a few drops of Minowax uh, wood conditioner into my cell activator. 
And the stuff is really stinky. It's not very fun to work with. So I, I keep it in a little squirt bottle. And then when I put my cell activator on the plate, I just put a few drops in there and mix it in. And it really does help create the, um, the cell effect. So I find it to be uh, really effective. I really like it. Uh, I wish it didn't smell so bad because <laughs> I really don't like using products that are sort of toxic, but uh, it worked well, I think, for this application. And I'm going to come back when I'm done here, guys, and talk a little bit more about Tina Sacco with TSR Creations. And I hope you enjoy this. I, uh, I got this cake spinner and I'm kind of hooked. <laughs> it's like spinning art is really, is really fun. So, all right, we'll talk to you soon.
Hi, I'm back. Okay, let's talk about Tina Sacco. So she is also an awesome artist. She uh, does, a, she's very active in the community where she lives. She does all sorts of, she's out in the public a lot. She does a lot of shows. She's like got all sorts of different mediums she works with. Um, she's brilliant with uh, alcohol inks and acrylics and she makes jewelry and she's really cool. So I took some inspiration from Tina by using, I'm actually using the same color palette as the previous painting because I wanted to sort of tie the two together. Um, I'm using a little bit different formula for the paint. Um, and I'm, I'm going to use the spinner because I just was having a lot of fun with it. Uh, but Tina really likes, me and her have a similar taste in using this sort of light gray background on our paintings. Um, and then you'll see Tina using a lot of white lacing, using a, the same type of cell activator. Uh, she, I don't think she uses any Minowax or Australian Floetrol. I think she uses just the American Floetrol with titanium white or black oxide Amsterdam paint. And so this was definitely inspired by her, just sort of the way bringing in that white, that white lacing on top of a gray background, and I kind of swipe out outwards. Um, yeah, so, you know, Tina, I think you should definitely head over to her channel and check her out after this. She um, is a very cool artist, and I've always really liked her. I met Tina when she did a collaboration with a, another friend of mine, Gail Burston, a while back. It was probably three or four months ago. And yeah, we've been kind of chatting ever since. So I hope you enjoy. Um, I'll show you the dried results of all these paintings at the end and show them sort of hung together. And you can see how they sort of tied together in the end. All right, uh, have a beautiful day, you guys. Take great care. And be sure to head over to both of these other channels and subscribe and show them some love. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.
But you never loved someone But you never loved somebody like I just did But you always hurt the ones Hurt the ones you say you're so deep in love with You don't know nothing, 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 nothing You don't know what it feels like Baby, I'm hurting, 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 hurting And you don't even ask why Why I'm staying up all night I haven't slept since you came into my life Do you truly love me?